I know it's it's been a while since I last uh, since I last posted anything. Um, a lot's been going on, and I just haven't had the time to make any videos. But um, I wanted to make one. I've been getting a lot of comments recently on a video I made, but maybe like a year or two years ago about like 24 kilohertz versus uh, 48 kilohertz settings and people were saying hey I wish there was more content like this so here's more content like this. Today we're going to be talking about um, BLHeli S ESCs namely uh, uh, BLHeli M versus BlueJay. Now I've been running BLHeli M on these uh, tiny trainers for the last I want to say like year and a half and I have the means now to kind of do some actual uh, tests to give a, a determination like which one is better from a performance standpoint. Here's how I tested to see which one is better and one of them did win. Um, I set up a race course in my backyard and I set up a timing system and then I took this quad and just started just running laps with it. I ran a practice lap and then two warm-up laps and then I came in, put uh, Chris Rosser's BL Heli, I mean I'm sorry, I put Chris Rosser's um, Blue Jay ESC settings that he recommends on this quad, ran three laps with it and then for the last battery I went back and I put uh, BL Heli M back on this quad and then ran it for a final time. So I'm going to run um, the two fastest laps with with each ESC setting and we'll come back later and discuss. Hey, feel day. Ah, come on. Alright, that was dead. Whoa! So as you can see from this screenshot, BL Heli M was a tiny bit faster around the track, so therefore it wins. Also, BL Heli M just to me just it feels a lot better. Um, like it's maybe like it's like a, it's like a five percent difference, like five to ten percent difference between the two, but it's enough for me to notice. I'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen what my BL Heli M settings are. So I'll put those up on the screen now. One problem with this particular setup is that there are sometimes it's random when it happens. I'm not really sure how to control it, but on like the initial launch, the quad will like flip out and fall to the ground, and then I arm and I have to take off. I kind of have to baby it. It's random. Blue Jay didn't do that. So while well, on the one hand. BLHeliM is faster, 
there is a chance that your quad is just going to have like a throttle runaway. I think that's what the OSD setting says, and then it just it's just going to just fall fall off the launch stand, and then you have to now you're behind. That's actually cost me races before. So if I can get uh, Blue Jay, which didn't do that, but Blue Jay ran fine. I was able to launch straight from the launch stand every single time, pretty consistently. Um, before it started uh, without it freaking out. If I can get Blue Jay to feel like Beale Hell I Am and still be on par with Beale Hell I Am or faster, then I'll make another video. So uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a nice day.